Hey everybody, Dave Perriton with Columbus Turnkey and we are back with 1031 Exchange expert, Mr. Greg Smith. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about what is like kind. So when you hear about a 1031 exchange, they say you have to exchange into properties that are of like kind. What does that mean, Greg? Right, so like kind really just means that the property you sell has to be business or investment real estate and the property that you buy on the replacement side has to be business or investment real estate. So that seems simple, where could it ever go wrong? Well, uh, they don't want you including principal residences, there's other parts of the tax code that take care of those, and it really is not supposed to be a pure vacation home either. These are properties you're using in a business or that you're holding for investment purposes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that gives you a lot of options. It's okay to sell a hotel out in California, and buy an office building in Maine. It's okay to sell a bunch of rental properties in Columbus, Ohio, and buy a shopping center in Chicago. So it's okay to go from any type of business or investment real estate to any type of business or investment real estate. That's where a lot of people are confused. They say, ah, I sold a duplex. I don't wanna buy another duplex. Right. That's okay. You right. can sell a duplex and buy five single family homes. You can sell a giant apartment complex and, and buy a bunch of different things. It doesn't have to be exactly the same type of property. It just has to be business or investment real estate getting exchanged for business or investment real estate. A lot of people in California love doing 1031 exchanges and purchasing and, and exchanging into Ohio properties and that's exactly what we do at Columbus Turnkey. Uh, we provide properties that are fully fixed up and rented out and we provide the property management as well. So a 1031 exchange, let's pretend somebody sells an investment property, just one house, in California and their proceeds were $200,000, they could use that $200,000. They don't have to just buy one home here in one investment property in Columbus. They can buy multiple is what you're saying, right? Oh, absolutely. They want to take that $200,000, you know, maybe they even buy six homes in Columbus Correct. and move up in value and finance a lot of it. Yeah. So if they spend the $200,000 in cash, let's say they have from that sale in California, use that as a down payment on many homes in Ohio, that works beautifully. I think that's great. I think, you know, I'm a big uh, advocate of using leverage right now. Uh, interest rates are low and to lock in that low interest long-term debt, I think is really smart. So what you're saying is you can actually take the proceeds from the sale and use that as down payments to use, uh, to get leverage to buy multiple properties. Is that right? Absolutely. That's, that's a typical 1031 and in essence, what the government wants to see. They want to see you grow in your portfolio over time, never paying taxes on your sales, and uh, you, you, can, you can buy as many properties as you'd like. That's awesome. So that's exactly what we do. We have the properties at Columbus Turnkey. Um, we specialize in investment properties, and we also have great lenders and preferred lenders so you can take advantage of leverage, and we work with professionals like Greg uh, to help us with 1031 exchanges and things like that. So on our next video, we're gonna be kind of putting a bow on this thing and letting people know um, really what the next steps are and uh, we will see you on the next video.